Hey, what's up, OFC Addicts? I'm Fernando Rosas. I'm starting my first OFC stream ever. I'm kind of excited for this. OFC is a very addicting game, and that has changed my life completely. I see that there's not too many people streaming OFC on Twitch. I've only seen Phil Hellmuth and Sam Abernathy, so I wanted to expand this game and show everyone how cool this game is. I wanted to explain also the privilege that I'm going to have. It's kind of weird, but let me explain it thoroughly. So the top three donators for the first month will be able to play me OFC Pineapple Race to 200 points for all the donations plus $1,000. For example, if I get $2,000 in total monthly donations, I'm going to have 2000 plus 1000 that's 3000 so each player is going to play me for $1,000. But this is a privilege. If the player loses, he's going to have up to 100 years to settle his or her losses. So if you think about it, guys, that's where the special privilege comes from. This is the first time I do it. I had to learn how to use OBS. I had to learn how to use all these different programs. And not I'm not very tech savvy, so it's kind of hard for me. There's a good chance I might have some technical difficulties. I don't even know if the audio is right right now. I hope it is. There's a delay, so there's no way to know right now, but I'm just getting to the action, guys. Gonna be talking about hands. Gonna try to talk with the chat. And I hope you guys enjoy it. OFC is a very, very fun game and very easy to learn. Oh yeah. So let me, let me explain OFC because some of you guys might not know the rules. I'm gonna be playing mostly OFC Pineapple High. There's different variations, but that's the most popular one. It's going to be mostly heads up. Let me just play a hand so I can explain the rules. But each player starts with five random cards. Here, I'm going to start a hand. So as you can see, oh. Okay, that's the first technical difficulty. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's not uploading my iPhone screen. What the heck is going on? I apologize for this. This is not good. <laughs> Sorry for the technical difficulties. Let me try to restart this thing. It's the first time I do it, so hopefully in the future I'll be able to solve these problems. Uh, yeah, let me see. Also, please tell me if the song audio and my voice is like balanced. Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure in the future I'll be able to solve these type of problems and we'll have a more fluent stream. Okay. There's the... There's a screen. Okay. So yeah. As I was saying, each player starts with five random cards. And in the bottom, you're gonna try to make the best hand. In the second row, you're gonna try to make the second best hand. And up top, you're gonna make the worst hand. If your hands are not in order, you're gonna foul. So for example, if your top row beats the middle one, or the top one beats the bottom, you're gonna foul the hand. And you get extra royalties for good hands. Straight in the bottom is 2 points. Flush is 4. Boat is 6. Quads 10. Straight flush 15. Royal 25. In the middle it's all the same. Times 2. But trips is 2. Trips in the bottom is 0. Trips in the middle is 2. And up top pair of 6s is 1.7. It's 2. 8's 3. So on and so forth. If you get queens up top. You get what's called fantasy land. Which is a hand where you get 14 cards together. And you get to set your cards without fouling because you're going to have all your 14 cards together. Also, you get one point per row that you win. And if you win all three rows, you get three extra points for scooping. If your opponent fouls, you're going to get the same three extra points. If my opponent fouls, I'm going to get six points just for the hand plus my, ro my, my royalties. Also, 
this game is pretty much about going for fantasy land because there's so much much so many points up top you get for example you have queens up top you're gonna get seven points for queen and fantasy land is worth between seven and a half to ten or even eleven points depending on how bad the player is seven and a half is against the player who's gto in other words against the player who plays perfect and no one in the world plays perfect so against very good players fantasy land is worth about eight points against very bad like ten points so it varies a little bit so here i'm gonna start off going for a three flush pretty standard and then four ten in the middle anytime you have a three flush with no pair you have to go for it but it have had we gotten a pair we put the pair in the bottom usually pair is way better than a three flush in this game okay interesting spot to start off with he has two spades so i'm gonna have to go for the spade in the bottom and pair the middle we still could get kings queens or aces up top so it kind of sucks that we have to discard the ace but we have to build first and then go for fantasy land although there's some spots where we have to gamble <clears throat> i'm gonna skip to some other action okay this is the fantasy land guys a pretty oh, okay it was about to be a monster but so if you get quads for better in the bottom in fantasy land you go back to fantasy land again again and if you get trips up top you go back to fantasy land in this case we needed an ace or a six to make a straight and then trips trips but we don't have that what I do all the time first is just check for a flush. Okay, we have a flush and see what happens with the leftover cards. We could have flush and a straight. That's four points plus four points. That's eight royalty points. We could also make a boat. That's only six points. So I'm going to have to go for the one that gives me the most points, which would be the flush. Flush and actually pair of tents up top because tents is five points, but straight in the middle is only four points. That's a pretty average fantasy land to be honest. Nothing great, nothing too bad. And always like quadruple check this because the most tilting thing ever is to foul in fantasy land. That's like getting bluff in No Limit Hold'em or Omaha. Super tilting. So I'm like checking this five times okay yeah it's good okay i'm really checking the chat guys i'm a beginner with this so i'm a noob don't judge me don't criticize me too bad let me see let's play against michael mizraki Ooh, interesting spot here usually what you want to do is have two pairs in the bottom and worse two pairs in the middle but here we got pocket jacks so we're gonna have to go for pocket jacks in the middle and try to bubble up in the bottom which is not that unlikely there's still two eights and two nines left so we actually bowed up over half the time there uh here Remember guys, pairs, very strong. Any pair that's not aces, kings, or queens almost always goes in the bottom. Although, it varies. A lot of people like to put the ace up top here, but I really don't. I think this is better in this spot. But putting the ace up top is either the best choice or the second best. Okay, we get the ace. And here we're going to put the livest card in the middle. I have one 9. And he doesn't have a 6 or 9. So we have to put the 6 in the middle. Guys, this game could get... Okay, I didn't see the pair. I was about to say... Okay, this is a perfect spot. So, a lot of people like to put the 3 flush. But no. Pair is very strong in open face. Almost always try to go for the pair. With the best kicker. And then the 2... Worst kickers in the middle. Right there, we can make 10s and 5s and 3 and 8s without fouling. Let's see. Okay. 
Brick, brick, brick. No spade, no four, no ten, no six. So we're just going to lock up the top. Try to hit a flush. We could pair the five, but we're getting... Well, we're not getting scoop scooped, actually. Ace beats king high up top. But there's a good chance we, we make the flush, so we have to go for it. Okay. Oh, well, see, I kind of contradicted myself here by putting the ace up top. So, my play is not constant, guys. Okay, here, I'm going to put the deuce and not the six. Why? Because if we make trip threes in the bottom, we can make trip deuces in the middle. But if we put the six, we cannot make trip sixes in the in the middle, so the deuce is better there. Here, pretty easy jack in the bottom for the boat, and we're gonna put the 10, super live. Super live card. There's a spade and there's a two pair, but okay, he fouled, he has strip deuces and two pair in the bottom. He needed a jack or a 10. He had a big hand going there, but he missed. Interesting spot here. Interesting spot. By the way, guys, there's no perfect way. There is a perfect way to play OFC, but nobody knows how it is. The game is not solved as of right now. The game is not solved. I personally like putting the aces in the middle, trying to go for fantasy land with kings or queens up top, and 5 6 suited in the bottom. Although there's an argument for going for the three flush, two flush. Okay, so here queen up top, and uh, okay, the jack and three are just a slide. He has one ace, so I'm gonna put the three because there's three fives remaining, but there's only two aces, so it's more likely we get a five than an ace. And if we get an ace, we're probably putting it up top actually. We pair the 10 and have to put the 7 up top. Pretty obvious. Mm, pretty pretty bad pool here. Oh, this is ugly. We're going to put the 6. Actually, the 9 and the 7. We can make 9s or 8s and 7s up top. Pair of threes up top, pretty standard. I mean, pretty. There's nothing else we could do there. What does he need? He needs uh, he needs to hit both rows. He needs uh, four six with ace three ten. Let's see. Let's see how lucky Robert is. Yeah, he's not. Man, when I started playing Robert the first time, he was getting super lucky. I was getting like crushed. I was down about one thousand over one thousand points or like one thousand points at ten a point. I was like, what the heck is going on? This game's so crazy. I've had like 2k point swings, 2,000 point swings over three times. The variance is insane in this game. Okay, so here we're just going to put a pair of threes in the bottom. Just trying to make two pair better in the bottom. Let's see. Let's see if we hit the royal. Nope, no royal, but... Four flush and two pair in the middle. So we want a diamond and king up top. Okay, there it is. Pocket queens. Pocket queens up top. That's going to be seven points for the queens. And this player is horrible. So fantasy land is probably worth like 20 points against him. Nah, just kidding. Allegedly... Allegedly, according to the unofficial rankings, Victor Ayala is the second best player in El Paso. But, some people argue that there's some OFC specialists coming out, out of prison every year. Right? Because in prison, what do people do? They play cards. So every year, prison... Okay, there's a six. So we made it. Every year, people come out of prison... Specializing in OFC. So we don't know if he's the second best player because 
Potentially, there could be some OFC specialists, some OFC geniuses in prison. <laughs> it's actually a joke, an inside joke between my friends. <laughs> okay, so as I said, I always put the flush first and then see what's left. So we would have a flush with trips. That's only 4 plus 2, 6 points. Uh, we have a straight, actually. A straight. Okay, I see it. We have boat with straight. That's going to be 6 plus 4 points. That's 10 points in royalties. And that's the best set here. Triple checking this. A2345. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. So here we can make the straight, but we're going to need a good shot to the 9. There's three 9s left. That's going to be like a 31, 32 percenter. So we need to analyze what's going on here. There's two kings left. He's going to need a 6 or jack to not foul. There's two 6s and three jacks left. So that's five outs, which hits like half the time-ish under half the time oh it's actually kind of weird we could put the ace high or gamble but we only have three outs pretty close spot here actually I'm gonna gamble because there's a chance he fouls like half the time he fouls so if we both foul it's a push we don't lose that many points but it's a it's a close spot by the way <laughs> go to prison become an OFC specialist and we missed and he hit so yeah that's what I was thinking because if he hits we probably don't foul because king high beats queen high up top but it was a close spot if you guys have close spots you guys could take screenshots and send them to my twitter And I'll try to make the best analysis, like thorough, profound analysis of what's the best decision. But I cannot be 100% certain of that. I could be very certain. Let's see. Okay, interesting spot here. Two flush with three cards in the middle or three cards straight. Here I prefer the three cards straight because the three cards in the middle are like weird. They don't work together. So, ooh, I'm going to go for the three cards straight and potentially make two straights. Pay the deuce, pretty obvious, and we're going to gamble here. There's still two aces left. We have a good shot of making it. Pair the 7, ace up top, nothing to think about here. Most of the choices, decisions in open face Chinese are pretty obvious. Okay, here with a queen and queen up top. So we're going to need a king or an 8. Yeah, they're pretty easy, but I would say like 10% of the decisions in open face are pretty toughish. And that's where you could gain an edge, making the best decisions in tough spots. I've seen people do crazy stuff in tough spots. And you can get a huge edge against people who play kind of crazy or super crazy. Here we have to put the pair of jacks in the bottom. No brainer. Mm. Even though our 8s and 10s are super live, so we still have a good chance of making a boat. Not a very good pool here. I'm going to put the jack up top. More points than, than the nine. Okay, here. Let's see. The six is very live, so we have to gamble. There's three sixes. And we could still make some pocket pairs like deuces, threes, fours. We're not a favorite to make it. We're like 
35-ish percent to make it here. There it is. Kind of lucky. Yep. Fantasyland. Let's see. Oh, shoot. So close to a Royal Flush here. So close. Royal Flush is 25 points. But we don't have it. So let's see. If we put this, the flush, we could still make a straight. And pair of deuces, that's 4 plus 4, 8 points. We do not have trips. So it's going to be flush straight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we scoop. So we get ten points. Okay, king up top, and we're gonna go for. Do we go for a gut shot? That's the question here. Hmm. It's either the gut shot or ten, eight, six, seven in the middle. First to act, I do not like going for gut shots. Usually, I like going for gut shots if we have a very bad hand and we're second to act. And our opponent does not have one of our outs. Okay, it kind of worked out this time. Not going for the gut shot. There's the 8 and we're going to need a 6. He has two sixes, so there's only two sixes left. Which hit like 20-ish percent of the time. Trips. And we have to leave the middle open. Because if we put the deuce, we're locking it up to one pair. It goes up top. We can still make two pair in the middle. And kinks up top. Let's see. Okay. We don't hit the straight, but it's fine. What does he need? He needs two, seven, eight. Do seven eight. He's probably gonna hit it. Let's see. Too slow, too slow. Let's see. Okay, very good pool. Full house and pair of sevens in the middle. Anytime you hit both rows, obviously it's a great pool. Sometimes it sucks though, because if you hit all three rows, you're like, oh shoot, which two rows do I complete? Let's see if we, if we get one of those spots right now. Oh, we hit the king, but we needed a six, seven, or four in the middle. By the way, guys, if you want to play me, you could add me on the Pineapple app. It's only available for iPhone, but it's the best app out there by far. Okay, interesting spot here. It's either going to be... Kings up top, jack 7 bottom, or Kings bottom, jack 7 middle, ace up top. Personally, if he doesn't have an ace showing, I like putting the Kings up top and just going for it. He's going for the fantasy land, try to hit it, try to get lucky. But both plays are pretty good. I think this one's better. Mm. Okay, we go for the flush and the king, there's one king left. So there's three aces, one king, four outs. Interesting spot here. Do we go for the open-ended? And put the ace up top or the ten up top because there's only one ten left. Or do we pair it up? Ten, ten, nine, eight, seven. Ooh, okay. In this spot, since he doesn't have a jack or six and the ten is... Not as live since he has one. I like going for the open ended. Okay, we need to, we need to pair the middle now. I'm gonna put the eight up top. Okay, maybe the five though. If we make trip jacks, we can make trip fives. Okay. There's no 8, so we have to put the 8 in the bottom here. And he has two nines, so the possibility of us making a boat is pretty low now. So, we put the 8. If he did not have two nines here, 
the eight goes in the middle actually because we are still a super favorite to hit it but him having two nines we put the eight in the bottom for sure and there's the straight we put the four there's one seven no four no fours out oh okay so we're gonna need an ace or king here or we foul he doesn't have an ace showing so three outs plus one out four outs we're over 40% I think to make it assuming he doesn't show an ace or king we foul though ah good thing this is not a hundred dollars a point good thing it's not a hundred dollars a point there's a crazy story I had in Vegas this last OESOP so I was playing a hundred dollars to the point no I was playing fifty dollars a point with some super cool guys from Singapore and I'm up like eight thousand in like one hour one hour and thirty minutes of play so one of the guys starts like getting on tilt and he's like oh let's play a hundred a point and I'm like fuck yeah let's play a hundred a point like I was excited <laughs> I was dreaming you know we start playing a hundred dollars point and I have like 28 29k long story short it was all gone in like 70 minutes <laughs> when I started running like God personally I don't believe in God but damn he made me believe in God cuz it was sick he was starting with quads he was hitting like royal flushes in fantasy land actually not royal straight flushes staying in fantasy land was crazy never seen it before okay pretty here we do not go for the royal it's kind of hard to get the royal. We're going to have to go put the king up top and aces in the middle, setting up the hand for fantasy land. We would go for the royal if we had a fort cart royal flush. There's the king. We're going to put the seven. We can make a straight. Okay, pocket flies. Let's see. Oh, he has two aces. Aces in the middle and aces in the bottom. Let's see. Okay, let's analyze playing against the fantasy land hand. When you play against fantasy land hands, you want to play so that you're going to gamble all the time. Because if you play it safe, you're probably going to get scooped anyways. So fouling and getting scooped is the same thing. Anytime you're playing against the fantasy land hand, you want to gamble crazy. So we get a king or queen, we're putting it up we're putting it up top without thinking king about it. Okay, we're gonna need a ace, king, queen in the middle. There's the queen. <laughs> kind of crazy. The least unlikely card got there, huh? Now the question is, do we lock up the middle, go for a pocket pair, or put the jack? The jack is more likely than a pocket pair here. So I'm gonna put the jack. But the jack limits our boat possibilities. We cannot make a boat anymore. Let's see. There's a nine. So we make it. He made a straight flush in the bottom, so he stays. Ah. Oh. Okay, this seems like a kind of good hand, but I'm not sure. As I said, first I put the flush and see what we have left. We have a flush, straight aces. Yeah, that's gonna be the best set here by far. Eight, nine, ten, jack, queen. There it is. Okay. Here we're gonna need ace, queen with nine, deuce, or eight. Pretty unlikely, to be honest. Super unlikely. Interesting spot here. Three flush, two flush, or pair with the two flush. Usually, I only break pairs when I have a three card straight flush, but with no gaps, like four, five, six of spades, then I would go for the three flush, but with one gap. I don't think it's worth it and definitely not worth it with two. 
As I'm saying, the pair is very strong. Don't make me unfriend you. We foul here. Okay. There's no 8 showing, so I'm going to go for the gut shot here. 7, 8, 9, 10, Jack. Yeah, we have to go for the gut shot. No 8 showing. Okay, this is an interesting spot. He has a king or queen. So the question is, do we put two pair in the middle or the three in the middle and ace up top? And why the three and not the five? He has a three showing, so it's more likely we get a five. We don't want to put the five because it's more likely we get a five and the five is no good. We don't want to make trips in the middle. We want to make two pair in the middle. Hmm, I'm going to go for the three and the ace up top. Okay, so that's what we wanted, kind of. Ah, damn. Okay, we're going to put the 9 here. It's either the 9 here or the 10 here. Oh, uh, 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 uh. I'm thinking about it. If I put the 9, I'm going to need like a 10 jack, queen, king in the bottom. And he has too many of those. Excuse me. Actually, I think the 10 in the bottom could be better. Oh, this is a close spot, but... I'm gonna go for the... I'm gonna go for the 10 in the bottom. That's pretty close. I don't even know which is better. Okay. We don't have a pair here, so we go for the 3 flush. Pretty obvious. We miss, as expected. Jack 10. Okay. So here we're going to go for the ace up top. Anytime you have a two card straight with another two card straight, like two connected cards and an ace, this is almost always going to be the better set. Even if the, for example, we had Jack 10, Deuce 3, we still go for this set. We still go for this set. He has 210, so that's not good for us. Okay, uh, it's pretty crazy. We hit, we hit the three, so... Yeah, we need to go for the trips. And we're going to need a seven in the bottom. What sucks now is that he's probably discarding all sevens. So I'm not sure if I even have two sevens left. Or 10 we fell see if I play it the other way we make it actually if I put the 5 3 in the middle it's a close spot Jack and uh, 3 in the middle or Queen up top hmm I'm gonna go for the three in the middle. We're probably gonna hit an ace anyways. Okay, here we're gonna have to gamble for fantasy land. So pair with the big kicker in the bottom with the five in the middle. Had the ten been an eight, we put it in the bottom. Not I'm sorry, not in the bottom, in the middle. If the ten was an eight, we put it in the middle. Okay, five and three. Not the jack, because then we would make better two pair in the middle. We would want, we don't want that. Uh, just complete the middle. Complete the bottom. Hope for a king. Hope for the king. No king. We're probably gonna get scooped here. Yeah, that's a pretty good hand. Boat boat aces. That's like the best hand you could get without staying. Boat boat aces. Okay, so anytime you have an independent pair from the flush, we actually do go for the three flush with the independent pair. 
Independent pair just means that the pair does not have a spate. Had one of these stacks been a spate, I actually put the spate in the bottom. Okay. <laughs> we could go for king queen, try to get a pair of kings and a pair of queens. But he has one king and I discarded a queen. Uh, so I'm going to actually go for the queen in the bottom and king up top. Ace up top. And then we don't put the 7 because he has one 7, so we put the 10. Okay, this is pretty bad. We're gonna need... We're gonna need to put the 7 here. Or maybe the Ace. There's two Aces left, but that's gonna make us foul. So yeah, the seven and the deuce here. Pretty ugly pool. Oh, this is pretty bad. We need spades. If we make two pair, we're locked. Our hand cannot improve. Because we would have sixes and eights and then jacks and tens. That would be a foul. So I'm still going to wait for the spades. And I'm going to put the eight in the middle. Actually... If we think about it, it's less likely he discards a 6 because it makes him a 3 card straight. So I'm putting the 6. Just because I think he's not discarding a 6 and he might discard an 8. Here we can... Okay. Yeah, we have to complete the flush. Him showing 3 clubs. Uh, do we pair it? Yeah, we don't... You know why we don't pair it? Because there's too many kings and queens gone. So you only want to pair it if a lot of aces, kings, and queens are left. So we pair it. Okay, see? That's pretty lucky. Two spades in one pool. And he has four spades showing. We just play it safe. With too, many, with too many spades out there, we have to play it safe. It would be crazy if we do something like that. Way too crazy. Super crazy. Sorry about that, guys. What happened here? We foul. We make it straight, but it's not worth anything because it's going to make us foul the bottom. Here... He's going to need a 7 or 5. There's two 7s and two 5s or a pocket pair. There it is. Okay, the 9 is good enough to go in the bottom. Had the 9 been an 8, I think I put it in the middle. If it's a 7, for sure it goes in the middle. But 9 is good enough. The 8 is like the cutoff. Like, oh, does it go in the middle? Does, does it go in the top? Three king. We need pairs here. We're desperate for pairs. Desperate for pairs. Six, two, three, four, nine, ten. Six, two, three, four, nine, ten. There's a six. <laughs> Deuce. Uh, kind of close. We foul. We foul. Okay. Two pair. Anytime you get two pair and you don't have aces and kings or aces and queens or kings and queens, it almost always goes in the bottom. If you're first to act, it goes in the bottom for sure. You're going to make a full house so, 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 so often. First to act, it always goes in the bottom. I'm pretty certain about that. We're going to put the deuce in the 8. He doesn't have a deuce or 8 showing. He has a jack though. There's the 5. And we're going to put the 7 because he has two tens showing. So we're rooting for a deuce, 7, queen. 
There's a three, and uh, ugh, this hand's looking pretty nasty. Yeah, ugh, I don't even like it. Let's just hope we don't get scooped. Deuce and queen up top. We can still get fantasy. See, some people like to put the pair of sixes in the bottom and kings up top, but I don't think it's good. You have a boat that's going to hit like over half the time for sure. Hmm. Here, we're not going to gamble with the pocket nines because we're still going to make a boat pretty often. And we're winning the bottom. There's a good chance we win the top too. Wow, we hit three clubs. That's so sick. <laughs> oh. Pretty sick. Okay, the 10 is super live. The 3 is kind of dead, though. We would have made a straight flush, but, I mean, we can't wait for it. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Deuce Queen. Just what we rooted for. Thank you for the good luck. This game's 10 points, so... That's some good amount. Nah... Uh, And we missed. We missed a king or six. That's pretty unlucky. And we would have foul had we put the pocket nines up top. Uh, okay. So here we're going to put the trips because we either make the straight or we don't make the straight. So trips in the middle is good. If we make the straight, obviously. King eight is the dream pool here. King eight, guys. King eight. King 8 OFC Addicts. Uh, 3 flush with the king up top here. We missed the 8, but we would have made it with pocket 10s here. That sucks. Also, that's like one of the worst things in OFC. When you make the best decision. And it doesn't work out, but had you made a bad decision and, and it works out, that's super tilting. We're going to pair the 9 and put the 6 in the middle. We're not going to pair the 8 because we're still waiting for the flush here. Seven for the boat. What's going on here? Nines and threes, aces and fives, and sevens up top. Heart, there it is. I'm gonna put the ten in the middle. Royal flush one time. Royal flush. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't look good actually. As I said, put the flush and see what's left over. It's pretty bad. A flush with nothing or a straight with sixes up top. Ah. See, the flush is four points in royalties. But it leaves us with threes in the middle and ace jack nine up top. And the, f the straight is two points plus a six is one point. That gets us more points in terms of points that we get for the hand, but one point less in royalty. Usually, I just go for the one that gives us the most royalty points. Usually. There's some exceptions. I don't think this is one of those exceptions. Let's see what happens. He fouled, so in this case, it was the right decision. Pretty easy set here. 10-8 suited, 3-5 in the middle, queen up top. Nothing to think about. Okay. I was talking about this situation before. Do we go for the pair of deuces in the middle or for the 4 flush? I usually go for the 4 flush. The problem with flushes is that 
yeah, you're gonna make it so often, but if you don't make it, you foul. On the other hand, when you have a pair in the bottom, you only need to hit it once to not foul. You just need to make two pair of trips. But with the flush, you need if you have a three flush, you need to hit it both times for you to not foul. That's the reason why I don't think flushes are better than pairs. I'm talking about three card flushes, by the way. Between the four card flush and the pair, it's gonna be the four card flush 100% of the time. Here, we're gonna need a heart. He's there already, he has trips, aces, and queens. So we need a heart to not get scooped, actually. Let's see, 10-8, uh, deuce five king. There's a heart. We don't get scooped at least. So not getting scooped here is going to save us 3 points plus 2 points for winning the bottom. That's 5 and 4 points in royalty. So by making the flush, we saved 9 points. Had we fouled, he would have won 4 plus 9, 13 points. Okay. 2 flush. 3-4 in the middle, king up top. Ah, uh, The 10 sucks here because it's not a good kicker. It's going to make us worse two pair in the middle. But it goes in the top or in the bottom. I'm going to put it... I'm sorry, it goes in the top or in the middle. I'm going to put it in the middle. Ooh, okay, do we put queens in the bottom or queens up top? I'm going to put queens at the bottom. Because like that, the 10 is going to be good for us now. We can make a 10. And make worse 2 pair in the middle. Okay. So we need... We're going to need 3-10 with king or jack. And we missed. Very nice hand, sir. Ah, oh, so sick. Ten. 3-5 is pretty dead here, so we're going to put the king in the middle. Try to make a pair of kings in the middle, queens up top. Uh, let's see. Yeah, here guys. Two, two, two pair of connected, connected cards is better than a two flush with nothing. 4-10 doesn't work together. But Jack-10 makes a straight and 3-4 makes a straight. So I'm going to go for the... 2 card connected... For the connected 2 card straight. Okay, interesting spot here. Do we go for the 3 flush or pair of 3s? Oh, I'm not even sure about this one. He only has one heart showing. Oh... And we have the nut flush in the bottom. Pretty close. I'm going to go for the three flush. Even though... Uh, even though most of the time going for the pair is way better than the three flush. That time I liked the three flush more because... I'll go back into it right now. Explain why I like it more. Okay, 5-5. Five, 9-3 five. is pretty dead, but... See, when he doesn't have a king or queen showing, I like putting the ace in the middle. But when he has both of them showing, I put it in the top. Because him having king-queen is less likely. We make a pair of kings and queens. Jack and 10 is super live, so I'm going to put the 9 in, in the middle. <clears throat> okay, Jack's... Queen up top. Whoa. Robert Mizraki going for the, the crazy gamble here. Personally, I like pairs in the pod in the bottom. I don't like going for queens or kings up top unless I have like a nice or a king in the middle to go with it. But Let's see what happens. 
Okay, we hit the uh, king and queen, but let's see what he has. He has a... He's likely to foul here, so I'm just gonna play it safe. The three, of, the three and four is kind of dead. He has one three and one four. So just hope he fouls. Let's hope he fouls. He's gonna foul like 70-ish percent of the time. Yeah. He fouls and we get six points here. Pair with the best kicker and 5-9 in the middle. Okay, we miss 4 and then 3 in the in the top. We have a good chance of making a boat here, so we, wanna, we don't want to put a card in the bottom. I'm going to go get some water, guys, because all this talking makes me so thirsty. I'll be back like in a minute. Sorry about that. I'm back, OFC Addicts. Let's see. Let's get back into the action. Here, queen up top and the four in the middle. We don't put the jack because, remember, that's not a good kicker. It's going to make us worse two pair. is looking terrible here. Oh yeah, I'm actually gonna put the jack in the bottom because he has two tens, so it's very unlikely we make a boat. This way, we still have a chance of making fantasy land, although very unlikely. But also, we make a jack, we make better two pair in the bottom. Okay, we have a four card straight flush, which is. Something we do not want to hit. The six and the ace of hearts are no good here. So two less outs. If we get an ace or six that's not a heart, we're going to put it in the middle though. Oh, so sick. Well, it's actually not sick. I thought I had to gamble here, but no. Yeah, that has to be right. Hmm. Here we're going to put the ace in the middle. Try to make aces or kings. And then queens up top. The nine's a decent card. It gets us four royalty points. Four nine. We're going to pair the... Oh, okay. Actually, there's no reason for us to gamble, or is there? We're just hoping for pocket aces. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna gamble because aces are super live. And we could also make jacks. Queen 10 super live too, so not likely that we fell. Okay, here we hit both the ace and the king. Hmm. So we're gonna pair the ace or king for sure, but the question is which one are we putting in the bottom? I don't think he's ever discarding an ace, so I'm going to put the ace in the bottom. He could discard a four, but not the four of hearts. Yeah, but he's never discarding an ace, so I'm going to put the ace in the bottom. Okay, we still hit it, guys. Straight and queens up top. Pretty lucky. 
We don't scoop him though. Ace, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Let's see who gets a better fantasy land here. I think Kristoff is very lucky, very lucky against me, so I'm willing to bet he's gonna get the better fantasy land here. We have two flushes, so that's 12 points, but we have trips, which means we have a boat with nothing else. So we're gonna go for the two flushes. Two flushes for sure, and pair of deuces up top. One more spade, and we make trip deuces up top here. Flush, flush, deuces. Remember, you want to like quadruple check your hand in fantasy land. You're just giving away free money if you foul in fantasy land, which I've done it before, at least on the app. At least. Five times I think when you play live usually you play gentleman's rules which means that you cannot foul in fantasy land like no matter what even if you set your hand off stupidly and fell like you cannot foul you're not allowed to foul pretty much like <laughs> you need to set it in a way that you're not gonna foul and if you do set it in the way you fell like you have a chance of resetting it okay here we just put the pair of sevens Try to get a pair of aces, pocket aces potentially. Here he's gonna need a five with a spade. Yeah, he missed. So we scoop here. Okay, four flush and just the five. Nine and six here. We're getting scooped, probably. We're probably getting scooped here. Yeah, we do get scooped. Let's talk about edges in OFC. Um, obviously the the edge that you have in OFC is gonna depend on how bad your opponent is. I've done some math on this before. And usually, when you have two very good players playing against each other, oh nice, we got lucky here. Aces and tens and queens up top, yeah. Yeah, when you have two very good players playing against each other, the slightly better player is going to have an edge of between 0 to 0.5 points per hand. Actually, an edge of half a point per hand is pretty significant. So if you have an edge of half a point per hand, you have a pretty good edge against any, against that person. However, the variance is very insane. Like, for example, if you have an edge of, let's say, one quarter of a point per hand, you could play like... Ah, let me remember exactly. You could play like... 10,000 hands and be down like be losing like at least 20% of the time like after 10,000 hands if you have like a quarter of a point edge if I remember correctly you could be down like 20% of the time you need to play so many hands in OFC okay here is a good spot to analyze do we complete this the straight Let's see. Let's see what he has. Our bottom is almost always going to beat his bottom. So we're not getting scoop here. Uh, I don't like going for the straight. You know why, guys? Because there's no more queens for the top. And he has an ace and king showing. So I'm going to... Uh, I think I'm going to knit it up here. Yeah, because he has one eight, so we're gonna hit the boat like half the time ish. OFC is a tough game to play, but very easy to learn. Let's see, as I said, let's go for the flush and see what we have left here. We have flush with trips, we also have a boat, 
with the straight. That's 6 plus 4, 10. Let me see. I'm going to make a straight with the least amount of flush cards possible. Hmm. What happens if I put trips and kings up top? Yeah, not possible here. Yeah, boat with the straight. And I'm going to put the king, queen, jack, 10, 9 straight. So I could put ace, king, high up top. Why? Because ace, king, high up top is going to win much more often up top than the difference between the ace high straight winning in the middle. Like, the king high straight and the ace high straight win the middle almost the exactly same percentage of the time. But ace high up top makes a difference. So let's hope we scoop here. Boat, straight, ace, king, high. Okay, we don't we don't scoop. He went to top. King up top for sure. Jack eight in the bottom. Deuce four in the middle. Let's see. Jack nine suited. Two, three, four. If you guys have any questions related to OFC... Make sure you tweet me a screenshot of your hand. Let's see. Here I'm going to gamble with the king. No brainer. The question is, do we put the 10 or the 3? I'm actually going to put the ten, the 3 because he has queen 9. So our straight possibilities are diminished in the bottom. Okay. Ace king high up top. Ace high could win the top. Jack 9, open ended. No brainer. And he has 8, 8, 10, so we have to go for the open ended. It sucks that we discarded a queen, though. Okay, I'm going to put the pair of 3s here. Why? Why not the 5? Because it's more likely we get trips with the pair of 3s. I agree with that, Sut. Yeah. Mm, pair of 7s in the bottom here. We're just going to try to pair it up. Pair our way up to fantasy land. Okay. Jack to nine. Hmm. There's only one king left. So I'm gonna go for the straight here actually, because he has two kings showing. Had he only had one king, I think I put the king up top. Okay. So see guys, we would have fouled if we go for the straight here. And now we don't scoop, but we win one point. Yeah, so the difference between scooping and not scooping is five points. So you need to think about that a lot. Okay, interesting question. The very best, either put this, put the ace in the middle or the ace up top. I'm going to put the ace up top in this situation. Why? Because the 9 doesn't make a straight with the ace. And king-queen of hearts goes in the bottom. So like if we put the ace here and we get a king-queen of hearts. We're going to have to put it in the bottom. So this is going to maximize your chance of winning or of making fantasy land. Remember guys, this game is about making land. Ace up top. We're trying to make land. Huh. We're going to go for the 4 flush here and uh, put the jack up top. 7, 8, 9, 10 jack and try to make it straight in the middle. Oh, okay. Interesting spot here. Right now, let's see. Ugh. This is a good spot. Do we put the ace up top? And 7s are dead. I discarded 17. He has 17. So we go 7 up top 2. We have 1 5 left. 2 3s left. That's 3 cards plus pocket pair. Or. So we have 3 outs plus pocket pair. Or do we just put the pair of 7s. And try to hit a 1 ace. Oh wow. We're probably not going to get scoop here. With the 2 pair in the middle. And ace high up top. It's not going to make a flush in the middle. I mean, I have six hearts. It's very unlikely. There's one ace left. I'm going to take a screenshot of this one. 
Sorry about that, guys. Screenshot. And then, I think Pair of Sevens is better, but I'm going to analyze it deeply when I have time. We would have made it, but it's a tough spot. Oh, wow. He made a flush. Let's just hope we, we don't get scooped. Yeah, we don't get scooped. Yeah, this was a very close spot. I'm not even sure which one was the best decision. Had we had one more out, I put the ace up top. Very close. We put the four in the middle because he has two fours showing. Hmm. How are the sevens looking? So here the question is, do we go for the pair of fours in the middle and not the trips? Try to hit deuce three with jack eight seven. He has two deuces and no sevens. So in this case, I'm going to go for the for the seven. Okay. I'm going to put the eight. Try to make it straight in the middle. This is not a good pull. Huh, three or eight. He's gonna he's gonna need a three or eight and he's probably gonna get it actually. We're just gonna try to get a heart here and try to not get scooped or hope that he fouls. And we missed. We would have missed anyway, so it doesn't matter. Huh. I'm gonna put the jack up top. And three in the middle. The jack gets us some royalty points. Okay, we make the... Oh, actually, we made both hands. Straight and flush. And he fouled, which is good for us. Nice. Pair, 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 guys. Pair. Deuce five, six in the middle. Had the six been an eight, I put it in the bottom. As I said, the 8 is a cutoff card. The 7 still goes in the middle. Okay, pretty easy set here. 4 flush, king up top. There's a 9, and we're going to put the king up top. Hmm, I'm going to go for the open edit here. But he has two nines and two fours. as well. So there's only one four and two nines. Ugh. But he has to see. I'm gonna go for it. Three outs is not that bad. Hmm. Jack deuce five. Five for sure. The question is Jack five or deuce five? He has one Jack, I have one deuce. I'm gonna go for the deuce. We can make a straight. And it's very unlikely we make a flush. With him having two clubs, I have, I have the king of clubs. Let's see what's going on here. He's already there, so we need to gamble. We're gonna, I'm just gonna gamble for the straight here, though. Had that been a queen, I put the queen up top. Oh, okay. So. In this situation, the five goes in the middle, for sure. The question is, do we put the king up top, or do we put it in the bottom? There's still one king left, and there's five, six, seven, eight, five hearts. Oh, wow, I'm getting so many close spots. I'm just going to play it safe, because there's a decent chance he fouls, and the flush is, is going to win us the bottom for sure, and get us four royalty points. Deuce. Oh wow, he has the same middle here. And the eight. Brick, brick, brick. Queen up top. And then we have two fours. Three fours total, so a seven. What's going on here? We're gonna need a three. There's three threes, so. Well, but the three of spades is no good, so only two threes. Ugh. 
I'm gonna gamble. He has a boat. He's beating us everywhere. We we don't foul, but we get scoop, which is the same thing. Okay, when you're playing against the fantasy land, I like going for the gut shot because that's gonna maximize our chances of making the hand. So we're gonna go for the gut shot. We're gonna go for seven, eight in the middle, not the six, because we have one six. There's more sevens and eights left. There's the gut shot. And queen up top. I'm trying to make fantasy land here. Jack in the middle. Close. We hit the queen, but no middle. We get scoop. See, like, if you don't make a good hand against the fantasy land hand, you're probably gonna get scooped, so you have to gamble as much as you can. Pretty easy set. Okay, we make flush and trips. I'm gonna pair the middle. He doesn't have one club showing, so we're a massive favorite to make the flush here. See, pair the three and then put the jack in the bottom. That's a good kicker. We can make jacks and fives and nines and threes. Wow. We haven't gotten in a club. So sick. I'm going to put a pair of deuces in the top. Or I can put the ace, actually. I can make trips, trips, actually. Huh. close okay anytime I get ace queen I like putting the ace in the middle and the queen up top but oh wow let's see eight six he has eight six so that kind of sucks for us hmm we could also go for two flush he doesn't have one club showing, so I'm gonna go ahead, put the ace eight of clubs in the bottom because he has eight six. If he didn't have eight six, I would go for this set for sure, but I think this is better now. Him showing eight six. Oh wow. Where are the clubs, guys? So sick. Three seven four. We just miss. Good thing we didn't go for the king up top. Okay, at least we don't foul here. We're gonna lose one point, I think. Maybe win. No, we lose one point. Yeah. Ace high up top is good, guys. Hopefully, we make a boat and a flush in the middle. Very unlikely now. Him showing three hearts. I'm gonna pair the deuce. He fouls. Wow. If we put the three in the middle instead of the four, we would have made it, but that's just unlucky. Here I like putting the jack 10 of spades, we can make a flush, we can make a boat. If we put the three cards straight in this situation, jack 10 9 are not going to be good cards for us. Ace, and I'm going to put the 10, hmm, I can put the 10 in the bottom or the 10 up top. He doesn't have a 3 or 8 showing, so I wouldn't leave it open for the boat possibilities actually brick city I'm gonna put jack 10 I'm trying to make jacks and tents we need a three oh wow we got three of spades which is no good indeed so let's see 
we don't get scooped. 10 10. Pair. 4 7. Queen up top. Pretty easy, pretty easy setup. Hmm. I'm going to put the Queen Jack 10 of Spades and pair of 4s in the middle. King Super Live. Okay, we make one club. Pair of 6s. Aren't I an underdog because I'm exposing myself? Hmm. That's that could be true, but hopefully the delay is good enough to the point where my opponents cannot see what I discarded. However, since I'm playing like over five players simultaneously, it's pretty likely someone will be able to see my cards. So yes, I'm kind of giving an edge here. Wow. We're just running pretty bad against David. We played a lot before and it goes back and forth. Swings are pretty crazy. Okay, we're gonna put the ace up top. I'm trying to make fantasy land. Pair the seven. Put the deuce. We can make boat and straight. Okay guys, this game right here is low in the middle. However, I won't be playing low in the middle as of right now. Nice. Ace and... I'm just going to lock the middle here. Quats and pair of tents. Two pair. Quats and two pair. Pretty nice pull. Jackson putting the jack up top gets us more royalty points than the seven, obviously. Huh, I'm gonna put the trips in the middle because he doesn't have one spate showing, so we're favored to make a flush or a straight in the bottom. If we don't get a jack or seven, and three four, oh wow, three four is pretty dead. The nine is pretty dead. There's only one left. There's only one four left and two three, so I have to put the three. Ace, nice. So this is how it works. Wow. I've been running bad, guys. Can't get a spade. It seems I can hold them. When I go all in with two cards to come, it's way easier to get the flush. Here I have like 12 cards to come and I can't get a freaking spade. What a stupid game. <laughs> yeah, OFC could be fucking stupid. Like stupid retarded. And we're gonna foul here. Uh, Ace, try to not foul here with Ace High in the middle. And let's just hope we get a queen or six for a boat. Okay. Let's just hope we don't. No, we're gonna get. No, we don't get scooped. We have aces in the middle. Hmm. He's probably gonna foul. So I'm just gonna try to get a boat. Yeah, just get a boat with 3 8. Unlikely, but. That's where we have the most equity. King up top. And eight up top. So guys, I started playing OFC. I'm going to put four or five here. Um, I started playing OFC 
less than a year ago it's been like a year i think so like a year ago i was playing no limit hold'em and i watched two people play the game and i'm like oh what's that so i downloaded a crappy app from android and from the very first hand i started playing i got super addicted and super hooked Like, from that day, since I started playing, I don't think there's ever been a day where I didn't play OFC. Especially having action on the app, it's pretty easy to play. Okay, we're going to go for open-ended. Uh, it sucks that the 7 is a card that we need both in the middle and in the bottom. Yay. We're gonna have two open endeds here. We're gonna need Queen 783, guys. Queen 783. Oh, almost. Queen, but no 8 or 3. Here, let's see what happens. We get screwed. Okay, Jack is a perfect kicker, by the way, guys. The Jack is a perfect kicker to go in the bottom. Why? Because it's the highest card that doesn't get us to fantasy. So you want to put it in the bottom here. Let's just hope he's... Let's just hope he fouls here. I mean, I have two threes. I have a nine. I have a Jack. Pretty unlikely he makes it. For Queen. Hmm. I'm gonna put the King up top. And, uh, wow. Do we put the pair of fives? Or do we just put the six? I'm gonna. Wow. He's never discarding an A, so I'm going to have to put the 6 here. By the way, guys, I'm not sure for how long my first stream is going to be, but it's going to be at least 2 hours. At least. From 2 to 4 hours. 4-4, four, four, deuce 3. I'm going to put the Ace up top here. Anytime he has a King or a Queen showing, in this spot, I put the Ace up top. If he had no queen showing, I think I go for this. But him having one queen, I have to put it up top now. Hmm. This hand is looking pretty bad. We don't even have a pair anywhere. Okay, go for the queens. And uh, I'm going to put the eight in the bottom. Because a four is super live. Okay, we paired it at least, but hmm. I'm gonna put the ten up top. Three flush with no pair goes in the bottom, pretty much always. Hmm. Damn. So every time I put the ace up top, I get ace king. Right now, the ace would have been better in the middle. That way, we would have had aces and king up top. But now we have to play it this way. The 10 is good up top. So that's going to save us 5 points. Jack, perfect kicker. See, uh, I'm gonna put the 10. He has 5 and 7. But he doesn't have a 10 showing. Nice. Here I'm gonna put the King of Hearts in the middle. Try to get Kings and Queens. Or potentially even flush in the middle and boat in the bottom. Or quads. Let's hit something, okay? 10s and I'm gonna have to put the Queen here. 8 is no good. We cannot make fours and eights. It has to be fours and queens with tens and deuces or tens and threes. Oh, 
Okay, that's a nice card. And we're going to put the jack. Because he's never discarding a jack. Oh, wow. So close. We foul, though. I'm getting rolled here. Okay. Here we have to gamble 100% of the time. Even if we were not going against the Fantasyland hand, this is the right set. In if we if the king was a jack, well, I'll talk about it later. But if a king was a jack and this wasn't a Fantasyland hand, I would go for queen queen jack deuce five. We're gonna need a king here. Huh? <laughs> Seven eight. Wow, we're just missing. I'm going to put the, the 6, actually. At least we can make a straight. 5 deuce. So we're rooting for pocket aces or a king here. We miss. Interesting spot. The 10 goes in the middle. But the question is, do we put the ace up top? Or do we put it in the middle? I'm going to put it in the middle. Try to make aces and kings up top. Nice. It's always nice to have a 3 flush where the opponent does not have a spade showing or one of your 3 flushes showing. I'm going to pair the middle, especially because he has 6 too, so we're going to need some help there. Okay, wow, we get the one outer queen and the king. That's a nice pool. Flush and 10. So now I would want the ace up top. Okay, ha. Huh. Are we gonna gamble here? He has one king, god damn. If he didn't have that king, I gamble for sure. But him showing the king makes it tough. Cause we have a boat, you know? Boat, not only is it a very good hand, but it's gonna beat his bottom and it's gonna get us six points. Oh, you know what? I'm not gonna gamble. What do we need here? 3 or 10? 3 ton, huh? Look, 8 is fine. 8 ten deuces and trip 3s. Wow. Actually here, if we put the jack in the bottom, we make fantasy land. 5, 6. Okay, do we go for the open-ended or the pair? Personally, I think open-ended... It's better than the pair here, especially because the pair is one of the lower cards. Mm. Wow, we got the... <laughs> we got pocket jacks and we have two jacks in the bottom. It's pretty sick. Okay. Let's see what we have after we put the flush. We put the flush and we have nothing left. Sixes and threes. But we have, okay, we have two two trips here and two pairs. So anytime you have two trips and two pairs, it's going to be boat, boat. Boat, boat, and ace high has a good chance of winning the top two. Let's see if we scoop here. Um, when tuple checking this, yeah, it's good. No, we don't scoop, but we're going to win some points. Okay, let's gamble for Fantasyland here. Hmm. We're gonna put the jack in the middle or not? I'm gonna put the jack because we can make jacks and nines, and I'm trying to go for the flush in the bottom. Oh, wow. Okay, now that we hit the queen, this is not looking pretty good. 
I'm gonna commit to the flusher straight. Okay, that's not a bad pull actually. Do I put the ace? Because if, if I put the jack and I get pocket eights or pocket fives, I'll foul. But if I put the ace and I get pocket fives or pocket eights, I don't foul. Hmm. Well, it's kind of close. I'm gonna put the ace just in case. Doesn't matter. We fell anyways. Okay, the great pool here. We get the last king and the spade. Hmm. Huh. Let's see. Do we gamble here? Let's see how many outs we have. We have one ace. One ace, two tens, and two five, two, ni two nines. That's five outs. Yeah, we gamble here. Anytime you have five outs, usually you're gonna gamble if you have a flush in the bottom. Four outs, it's kind of the cutoff, but five outs, you're good with that. Nice, we get a boat here. He's gonna need a king. We're gonna need a king too. Wow, actually we would have fouled guys because if we put the queen up top here See we discarded a queen if I put it up top I would put pocket jacks in the middle on the second to last pool. So we would not have made the flush Nice we make Two pairs in the middle and not flush in the bottom. We might scoop. We just need to beat his kicker up top. Let's see what he gets. This is going to be a coin flip. He cannot win the middle. He cannot win the bottom. Oh, interesting. Hmm. We have a three card straight flush here. But I'm gonna go for the four flush actually. A nine, let's beat the nine. We need a ten or better. Ace, nothing better than the ace. So we scoop here. Let's see, we do not have a flush. We do have trips though. So we can make boat. We do not have a straight, so it's going to be boat and queens up top. For sure. Yeah, for sure. We fouled here. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. We make trips. And he fouls. You know what, guys? I've been playing poker for three years. I've been playing OFC for like one year. I've discovered that the best way to play poker, or not to play, but to win, is to just buy luck. That's like the most GTO thing you could do. Just buy luck. There was a guy in a game selling luck. So if you buy good luck for life, you're going to win. So if you're running bad playing poker, you're running bad gambling, just buy luck. Here we're going to put the 7 in the middle. He has one deuce. The 7 is more live. Nice, nice pool. Trips and a 4 card flush in the bottom. Huh. Interesting spot. It's either going to be that or that. I'm going to go for the three flush. Nice. We make the, the boat and the pair of fives. So let's see if we can make boat boat. King up top and uh... 
three in the middle. We don't want to boat up in the middle. So now we put the least live card. Huh. Do we gamble? Do we gamble with the boat or not? Let's see. Wow. Fives and sevens are super live. So sick. I hate these spots. They're so close. So if we gamble, we would go for the queen and ace in the middle. He's never discarding an ace. So we have three aces, two fives, and three sevens. And we scoop if we win, if we make it. Yeah, we have to gamble here. Because we scoop too. It's going to be sick if we foul. We're just so, so, so live that we're going to have to gamble. We have 8 perceived outs, guys. Wow. He gets pocket 7s. Oh, it's pretty sick. I'm tilted. What the fuck is going on here? Stupid game, guys. We had eight outs, right? I'm like in shock here. How do we miss? Wow. Okay, next hand. It wasn't that dramatic, actually. The ace kicker is going to be good up top here. We're going to need a spade for sure, though. Damn, eight outs, guys. We hit like two-thirds of the time there. So we're supposed to foul one-third of the time. It's not that bad, I guess. Okay. Spade and king up top. Wow. I'm feeling the tilt. I'm feeling the tilt inside of me. God, it's getting hot in here. I'm gonna go turn on the AC, guys. I'm back. I'm back tilted. Let's see. Let's get back into the action. Okay, uh let's see, if we put the diamond here, how many diamonds are good? We're gonna need the three of diamonds, he has it. The four, that's one. The seven, that's two. The 8, that's 3, and the 9, that's 4 outs. 4 outs, and here, we don't foul, never, ever. But he's going to scoop us, so we're going to need the diamonds to not get scooped, actually. Yeah. We make the boat, but no. What's going on here? Yeah, we need a jack for 7. We missed. By the way, guys, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but any player that you get me to play me on the Pineapple app, I'll give you 10% free roll for all the profits. And if it's a reputable player, like a well-known player with a good reputation, I'm willing to post the money. If it's a player who's not well-known and... I mean, I don't want to get free rolled or I don't even want to run the risk of getting free rolled. So if it's not a well-known player with a good reputation, 
the person's gonna have to post the money. We don't get the diamond here. We don't foul at least, but we're gonna get scoop. Let's see. Ace in the middle, ten do suited in the bottom. Oh wow, I didn't realize this. The screen just froze again. I hope it hasn't been for a long time. Wow, let's see. It happened again. This is not good. I'm gonna have to fix this for sure. Sorry about that guys. I hope it doesn't happen again for my next stream. I had to download all these different programs for me to be able to do this. So I'm pretty new at it. Hopefully it's back. Yeah. I don't know why it freezes. There it is. Nice, nice pool. Deuce and queen up top. Here we're gonna go with the go with the pair of fives and ace up top. Anytime he has an ace showing, you wanna put it up top actually. Assuming we don't have a king or queen. The action is dying off a bit. I'm going to put king up top and queen in the bottom here. So, I'm going to start a game with the best player in the world. Mighty bot. The Mighty Bot is by far the most GTO player out there. You'll see it. It's just that I think I'm giving out way too much info by playing against him. Let's do it. Let's see what it does. Nice. Nice starting hand. Anytime you have two pairs, it's a very good hand, by the way. Wow. Genius. Genius, genius. Genius Mighty Bot. <laughs> what the heck is a bot doing? What the? <laughs> I wonder what the programmers were thinking when they like saw the results of the bot playing. Like, why the heck would you put the deuce of hearts up top? <laughs> so sick. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Watching the bot makes me stupid. Huh, let's see here. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to put the four and the eight here. That's if we want to have a chance of making a fantasy land. But actually, I'm gonna go for the for the boat possibilities because he has two sevens. So we get a king or a queen here. There's a queen. Let's see if our fantasy land game improves. We had to have a stayed. Let's get a stay for the stream. The first stay. Maybe we did, but I have really bad memory. I don't think so. Stay one time. Stay! 
I don't think the app listens to my words, but let's see if it works. Nope, doesn't listen. Man, not even a flush. Forget the forget the freaking stay. Give us something decent here. Nine eight seven six five. Wow, I want to throw up here. Ace, deuce, three, four, five. We're going to have straight and nines up top for sure. So, let's put the highest straight. Yeah, pretty bad. Four, five, six, seven, eight, kings and nines. We need to improve our luck here. Anyone out there selling luck? I'm probably going to buy some luck soon, so hit me up. Okay, so do we go for the gut shot or two flush with the three card straight in the middle? Hmm, since we have a three card straight and the two flush in the bottom, I'm gonna go for this. Nice, we get two pair. Let's hopefully boat up. We don't boat up, but we hit the middle and an ace up to. Oh, wow, 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 I fucked. Maybe I didn't. I didn't see the three. Yeah, I think that was a mistake. Not sure though. Maybe not. We made a boat at least. We would have made quads. It's pretty sick. Pretty sick game. Okay, nice. We get the trips. We get the trips. And we're going to put the jack. There's a good chance we foul against ace king high up top here. Yeah, we foul. He fouls too, I think. No, he doesn't. No, yeah, he does. Okay. Here, we're not really going for the two flush in the middle. We're just trying to make pair of kings and queens up top. Oh, God. Man. Talking makes me super thirsty. Okay, 10, 9, 4, 5. Queen up top. Let's go for the fantasy land, as always. I'm not used to talking this much, so I'm kind of getting a headache. It's so sick. Pretty crazy. I'll probably get used to it. That's how the body works. It adapts. Uh, I'm going to put the king up top. I don't want to put trips in the middle already. Yeah. Putting trips in the middle makes our hand very likely to foul. Wow. Okay, pocket eights. We're gonna put them in the bottom here. Since he has two nines, so we need to start pairing the bottom. Hmm. What happened to the bottom? So, I'm probably gonna stop the stream at seven. It's the first time I stream, so I'm not expecting too many viewers, obviously. But I love OFC and I know it's super addicting so my job is to get more people addicted to this game. Okay, get that correctly. So if you become addicted to this game, thanks to me, let me know because that's going to make me proud. I've gotten a lot of people addicted. <clears throat> yeah. I'll tell you something guys, there's a game that's even more addicting than this. It's called Big P. It's pretty much open face Chinese with four rows. That game is like super addicting. Unfortunately, they don't have it on the app. But if anyone knows Phil Hellmuth, I think he's the one who like created the app or something like that. If anyone knows Phil Hellmuth, 
he should really start that big P. Also, if anyone does know Phil Hellmuth, I'm willing to post and play against him. So if you know Phil Hellmuth, want to get a little 10% free roll, let him know. Let him know that I want to play him. Four cards straight. Don't really like the pair more than the four card straight. Four card straight is pretty strong to be honest. Can't stop drinking water. Wow. Huh, I'm gonna put put the five in the middle and queen up top. We try to build up the hand first and then go for the fantasy land. There's still two queens left. Three, we're gonna need a nine or a four here. Nine four nine four ace queen. Nine four ace queen. One time. He has a nine and three fours though. It's not good. We did miss. Wow. I usually like the four card straight because you almost never miss. But. It happens. When you start with the four card straight, you make it like 93% of the time. So like. You have to get pretty unlucky. I lost the race. So I think that's going to be it for now. Uh, I wanted to stream two hours, but the action died. I'll have more action for the next stream. And I also got a slight headache, but for sure I'm going to be streaming tomorrow, same time. And thank you guys. Thank you for viewing. Goodbye.